In the autumn of 1940, under the decisive name of Felix, German High Command ingeniously designed the seizure of the Rock of Gibraltar in conjunction with Spain. They were the only outpost in the mainland of Europe where the Union Jack flew throughout the war. Nowhere else except Little Gibraltar. In the preparation, it was more than the sand. We had all the exercises in a steel ground. That means that if we had to defend or even for a short defense, we were on a steel hang. We had to get used to it. We had to get used to it in the steile nach oben zu schießen oder unter Umständen nach unten zu schießen. The tunnels were designed for a, a whole garrison of 16,000 troops to live underground for a period of nine months because it was thought that Gibraltar would be besieged by the Germans, U-boats and warships around the straits, preventing any supplies coming in. So preparations had to be made for supplies, ammunition and all the commodities for the garrison to, to uh, depend on to last for at least nine months without any outside help. Bis nach Gibraltar hat sich das angesehen und schreibt dann später in seinen Erinnerungen war entsetzt, weil er festgestellt hat, dass dieser Plan, der ihm da in die Hand gedrückt war, ja vorgesehen hätte, dass der Angriff über Stadt und Hafen, also völlig offen, auf den Gibraltar Felsen erfolgt und Lanz nannte das später ein Himmelfahrtskommando, das also unverzeihlich wäre. And we had a, a raid, two raids, one day, one day after the other. And the first, there was something like a hundred planes in it. And the, and the second one, probably a little more. And they, they came and they bombarded Gibraltar. They actually came and, and bombed us quite thoroughly. The tunnels in Gibraltar uh, really are immense. There are more tunnels and tunnel space than there are roads. Uh, there's something like 26 mile of road surface on the rock. But uh, inside there's over 30 miles of tunnel. Und dann ist plötzlich das kommen, das, dass also quasi das Gibralt, das Gibralt her eingenommen werden sollte und da sind wir this elaborate plan was not to capture a simple objective in the Mediterranean. The aim of the plan was to reach final victory in Europe by cutting away vital supply lines that tied Great Britain and its empire. Hitler wanted Gibraltar and entrusted one of his generals to mastermind a foolproof plan. General Alfred Jodl's plan was indeed foolproof and meticulously designed. Hitler's directive number 18 was undeniably infallible. 